Hey, I hope you guys are doing great today. I've shared a couple videos with you, mainly my birth story and about a C-section, but now I'm home three weeks postpartum and I just wanted to tell you primarily what are the things that I think you need. Um, I am one of those people that watched a zillion YouTube videos, a ton of research, and bought pretty much anything and everything you could need. I originally planned to have an all-natural vaginal birth and ended up having a planned c-section instead since my baby was breached and I bought things for both of course but um, this video is going to focus mainly on what do you need for your baby I bought medicines and all sorts of stuff and there are some great things to have on hand as well but what do you actually need for a little one um, at the hospital they give you these little shirts and little blankets, they, they don't give them to you, mind you. They let you use them while you're at the hospital. Um, there are shirts, there are blankets, and a little hat. Um, you get like a little bathtub, and tiny little bit of shampoo, and diapers. And they bring some Vaseline. I'm trying to remember, at the hospital, boy it's been three weeks. But I, and of course food. So those are the things they let you use in the hospital. You're get, you get comfortable with them. You learn how to use them. Um, I will admit we did take some of our hospital stuff with us. We took as many blankets, shirts, hats, everything as we could. Sorry, that's my little guy in the background. Just wanted to take a peek. He's just stretching. He's fine. Um, so we took some of that stuff with us. We took the bathtub. We took some food. Um, they gave us Simulac with iron um, ready to feed. So, after getting home, the big things we used were, of course, those things. We stuck with what we knew. Um, did not realize until we went to the pediatrician a couple days later. We went and bought a little t-shirt for him to wear there because I thought maybe he could only wear a t-shirt. And I wanted him to pants because I thought he might be kind of cold. Um, we had our little guy in April. So, it wasn't cold or hot, but just got a little t-shirt and pants. Now, when we got there, he says... You can put onesies on your baby. Thank goodness onesies are the best. So what do I recommend now that I know these things? Diapers. Have a couple different kinds. Um, sometimes you will notice your baby may have a little bit of redness. You're learning to put on diapers. You may put them on too tight. It's good to have some that are a little more flexible just for sake of switching things up and not putting too much pressure in one spot for him. We got the loves. We have um, some pampers, some huggies. We have a variety of different kinds. Uh, my favorite are actually turning out to be the Parents' Choice Diapers. Um, we looked at, you know, once you start adding up costs, they cost about 7 to 11 cents per diaper versus the Huggies, which I love, cost about 28 cents per diaper. So, have a couple on hand. Stick your newborns. Don't take them all out of the package because if they grow out of them pretty quickly, you can return and exchange. So don't take all your diapers out. I took a lot of diapers out. Fortunately, he's going through a lot of diapers and has not moved up yet. But we may run up into a point where we have wasted some diapers. So just don't be be mindful of that. You can exchange them. This is a tip from my cousin. My cousin Heather told me about. I love that tip. So don't take them all out of the package. Um, so you know you need diapers. Next thing I recommend is Vaseline. I wouldn't have guessed Vaseline. Um, our doctor said only use things that are greasy and clear on your baby, not white and tacky or white and thick. So the white creams can actually irritate their skin and make their skin even pull off. It can be painful versus greasy and clear are always a good way to go. Um, products that are greasy and clear are the Advanced Relief um, Parents' Choice or just Vaseline or Preventative A&D. Those are all good options. We've just been putting Vaseline tubes everywhere. It's the cheapest, best option. What you need this for is you put this in the front of the diaper. This is primarily for little boys. Um, I don't know, little girls might need these too, but definitely for little boys for a circumcision or around where the umbilical cord might hit if you don't want to fold over your diapers. So this will just stop from everything like kind of sticking or being a problem. Um, I will include in my postpartum video uh, for mama care after c-section I also use Vaseline check that that video um, diapers Vaseline alcohol wipes or the alcohol prep pads little alcohol with q-tips whatever you want to use around your umbilical cord just to keep any 
from any infection or anything. Your doctors can show you how to do this. Our pediatrician actually took a Q-tip or a prep pad, whichever's fine, and actually got even like anything that looked oozy or yellowy all around out and um, the cord fell off for us on exactly three weeks, which was last uh, Saturday. So, so excited about that. Cord's gone, um, umbilical cord's all healed up. So now we just need diapers and wipes. The wipes we use are all the water wipes. I love the Pure brand, Pure Pampers. They're what I find to be the best so far. I've used a couple of different brands, but I really like those. You can get those on Amazon for 15 to 20% off if you're a subscriber and safe person. I love that. Um, they come in these big boxes, so just make sure you have some room to put them. Just plan for that storage. But those are the big things you need. Um, then, of course, you need to feed baby. So if you're going to breastfeed, that's a whole different realm. I can talk about that later since I was planning to breastfeed with the C-section. I had a change of plans. Um, not breastfeeding now. I just did colostrum. I'll talk about that in another video. But um, just for if my formula feeders out there, um, get your bottles. Get a couple different kinds. Don't load up on one kind. You're going to find a preference. Your baby's going to find a preference. So get different kinds of bottles. We got the Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottles. We have the vented air bottles, the Medela bottles, because I was going to breastfeed. Um, I think we have like five kinds of bottles. My favorite so far are just the vented air ones. They're um, kind of have a slant at the bottom here, and it just keeps the bottles so that it's easier for you to turn to keep air bubbles out. Um, our little guy likes to feed really fast, and we had had some crazy, I guess want to call it projectile spit up, like a lot of spit up. I called a pediatrician, totally safe. Um, refer to your pediatrician if you're having problems like this. But what she explained to me was if one air bubble gets in his diaphragm, because it's much smaller, everything that sits on top of it is going to come out. So not fun for mom and dad, not fun for anyone holding the baby. Um, we've all got it. Now we're learning just to make sure, maybe be mindful of those air bubbles. So those are why those are my favorite bottles. Um, food. The hospital did not tell us to continue to do the same. I mean, it was common sense to use the same kind of food. We chose that at the hospital. But there are different ways to prepare your baby's food like powder or ready to feed or the bottles that are also ready to feed to go ready to feed which is what they gave us in the hospital the little to go ones but they're super expensive um they're 68 cents an ounce um that's a lot that adds up a lot i think versus um almost 11 or 8 cents an ounce for the powder formula which we came home and went oh cool powder i got one of those dr brown prep food things really cool we prepared um enough for the day and then had a lot of feeding problems that whole day and didn't really understand why. Well, until they are three months, the pediatrician told us no powder, just stick to ready to feed until three months. So to save yourself some hassle, ready to feed only for three months. Um, at your three month mark, you can start to sub in. We got a lot of free samples and stuff from all sorts of different brands. Um, and our doctor said it's okay to go ahead and use some of those around three months too and just supplement every once in a while if you're going to just for money saving. Um, I've definitely put a lot out in this video, so I will sum it all up at the end here. But I would say those are the big things that you need. Diapers. Vaseline if you have a little boy with a circumcision or any sort of issues that would need to just be healed up. Um, Vaseline's your go-to. Acne, whatever in the face. So diapers, Vaseline, wipes, which I said pure wipes. And if you want a preventative cream or an A&D ointment, just um, the A&D treatment, that is white, but it's okay for treatment. Um, we kept that on hand just in case there was some redness. And then feeding was ready-to-feed formula only <laughs> and bottles. So those are big things you need need. Um, other things I highly recommend, I got all these little soft washcloths. They're all different brands. You can get them anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, um, this one's spa silk. I like it. It's very soft, but also same as Gerber, any of the other ones. They're all pretty similar. I don't notice the big difference between them. I like these because at the hospital, we were using washcloths. Just kind of more, um, the washcloths are great. I bought a bunch of those as well. But he was starting to get some redness on his chin and a little bit of rash from them. These are soft and we've had no problems since. So all those washcloths I bought, I use as just burp cloths. And then, of course, I have some just standard birth clothes, whatever you want to buy. I'll do another video with the, the goodies, I guess, the more 
fancy products you might want to get if you just like those things. Um, we got a lot at our shower. We're very blessed and fortunate. Our family and friends have done so much for us. Thank you all. But um, as for what maybe mama's on a budget need, get the washcloths, free burp cloths. They're really cheap. And get these um, really soft baby washcloths, which I really thought were the silliest thing ever when I first got them. I was like, why do we need baby washcloths? Well, they're really soft, and you can kind of just tuck them into your baby's onesie like a bib and then use it to walk, clean off their face. So I think those are great, and they save you from changing onesies, which saves you from doing laundry. Um, I'll do another kind of hacks and things like that, but that's really all you need. That and where he will sleep, of course. Some sort of crib or pack and play, whatever you decide. Um, those are the big must-haves. Then we have so much stuff, and I just want to emphasize that you don't need all of it. So I've redone my diaper bags. I've redone my changing stations and everything. Try that. Hope that helps. Let me know what you think we need if I'm missing something down in the comments below. Thanks.